I'm so excited that we're getting our fortunes told today. Me too. Lucky Lucy has some of the best Yelp reviews for Oracle services in Morris County. What should we ask her? Ooh, I want to know how Game of Thrones will end. Nah, we need to ask something more consequential, like... Who our future spouses will be? Exactly. Let's head inside. Come in, children. Let's get started. Tell me, children, what do you wish to learn from O Fortuna, the great goddess of fate? We'd like to find out who our future spouses will be. Very well, then. Who wants to go first? Me! Certainly, child. You shall marry your current sweetheart. I just knew Cliff was the one from the moment I saw him at Hello. And you, child, are very lucky also. You will marry a tall, beautiful, blonde NBA cheerleader with implants as big as the heart they rest upon. Sweet! And what about me? Who will my future husband be? Well, I don't see a husband in your future, but I do see a soulmate. A soulmate? Yes, that other person who is perfect match, your better half. That missing piece of the puzzle that completes you in every way. Who? Child. Your soulmate is a seven foot tall drag queen named Disco Kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> D don't be upset. Obviously, the reading is just meant for entertainment. It isn't true. That's easy for you to say. You get to spend your adult life with a tall, pretty blonde with big boobs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're getting the same thing. <laughs> I I'm leaving. No, wait. Get a second opinion. Look, I have a magic eight ball in my pocket. Try this. Magic eight ball. Please tell me who my future spouse will be. Your soulmate is a seven-foot-tall drag queen named Disco Kryptonite. <laughs> Try this fortune cookie. Your soulmate is a seven-foot-tall drag queen named Disco Kryptonite. <laughs> Those are dated methods. Oracle technology has come quite far in the past decade. Here, ask Siri. Siri, please tell me who my soulmate is. Your soulmate is a seven-foot-tall drag queen named Disco Kryptonite. You know what, guys? I, I just need to be alone for a while. I'll, I'll see you both at school tomorrow. I sure wish my soulmate was Tommy from Trig Class, but I have to admit, Disco Kryptonite is a really cool name. Anyone with that name must be pretty awesome. And I've always wanted to learn how to apply a perfect smoky eye. I'm sure Disco could help with that. <laughs> You're darn right I can. Disco Kryptonite? Is that you? Yes, Pumpkin, it sure is. All seven feet of me. Wow, you smell like fairy dust and vanilla cupcakes. Oh. And I brought you a little sample from the perfume counter where I work. Thank you so much. Are you really my soulmate? Yes, darling. But I'm only the first of several soulmates you'll encounter in your lifetime. Really? Who are my other soulmates and how do I find them? I can't answer those questions, love, but I can give you three pieces of advice before I go. Please. First, when someone pays you a compliment, believe them and say thank you. Noted. Second, if you enter a subway car that is completely crowded with standing passengers, but there is an empty double seat near the back door, don't sit on it. A vagabond just pooped there. Good to know. Okay, darling, I must get going. My afternoon break at the perfume counter is just about over. Where is your perfume counter? It's in the future. Well, how will I find you again? If you ever need to summon me, follow these steps. Straighten your back, bat your eyelashes three times, and then sing as fiercely as you possibly can. Creole Lady Mama Lord! Creole Lady 
marmalade. Got it. Goodbye, Antonia. But wait, there was a third piece of advice you haven't told me yet. Never forget, orange lipstick is for grandmas and whores, not proper ladies like us. Thanks, Disco Kryptonite. I hope to see you again soon. <laughs>